Hello, welcome to our next video on loop structures in Java. In this video we're going to explore conditional loops again, and specifically one called the do-while loop. Very similar to the while loop, um, but the change is where the condition is checked. Um, the do-while loop is particularly useful when the loop has to execute at least once. So I really like using this loop structure if I'm doing something such as asking the user to input, um, say, an age, but I want to check to make sure they're entering something greater than zero. They have to enter an age at least once before it goes on. So the nice thing about the do while loop is that it's always going to enter the code block at least once and it checks the condition at the very end. So let's jump over to our program and take a look at how this is put in place. So we we have this program from our last video where we continually ask the user to enter a passcode. So I can put in 111, 222, 333. It keeps looping over and over until the user puts in 105, which happens to be the passcode. Now let me show you a classic mistake. A classic mistake is that for whatever reason the user initializes A to the same value as the passcode. So now if I run this, the program simply says access granted. And that's because it gets to the while condition, it evaluates the condition, and A is in fact equivalent to passcode, so it skips the code block and jumps right to the end. That's no good. So this is somewhere where you could use a do while loop instead. So we still have braces around the code block in the same way, and it's still indented. But instead of putting while, we put the word do here. And Again, the wonderful thing about a do while loop is it will always execute that loop at least once. So now if I come down to the bottom, what I do is I put the condition for the while at the very bottom. And the one little add-on here is that I do need a semicolon after the while statement here. So now what happens is you'll notice now if I run this program it actually goes and asks me the passcode even though A is already equivalent to the passcode and that's because what happens is this the do while loop doesn't evaluate the condition until the very end so it gets to the do it does it knows it's in a code block but doesn't care so it just executes it and then and sorry and then when it gets to the end it actually evaluates the condition and it's going to do this as long as A is not equivalent to the passcode. So again, I can put in 111, 222, 333, and it will keep looping until I put in 105. The big difference between the while loop and the do while loop is the fact that the while loop will evaluate the condition before it enters the loop for the first time. It's a really important point to kind of focus in on. And again, you can do any task with any type of loop, but one of the one of the things you develop the more you, you play around with this stuff is which loops best suit certain situations. In situations where you have to execute the loop at least once are best suited for do while loops. I hope that video helped.